with this understanding of LTI system, we now enter into the concept of convolution. Starting with an LTI system having an impulse response HN to which is applied an input XN. The question that now arises is what is the response of such a system? And that is where convolution comes into picture. Convolution is used to find the system response of an LTI system from the knowledge of the applied input and system impulse response. I repeat, convolution finds output of a system using applied input and system's impulse response. To use convolution to compute the system response, we now proceed towards derivation of convolution equation. There are two steps involved in, der in deriving the convolution equation. Step 1. Resolving input in terms of unit impulse. Step 2 is to apply this resolved input to the LTI system. Let's understand step 1. Every discrete time signal can be resolved in terms of unit impulse. Consider discrete time signal Xn as shown. Multiplying this signal with a unit impulse delta N separates out the value of x0 from xn. This happens as delta n exists only for n is equal to 0. The resultant product is therefore labeled as x0 into delta n. In a similar way, multiplying xn with a shifted unit impulse delta n minus 1 separates out the sample x1. Proceeding same manner, multiplying the input with a shifted unit impulse delta n minus 2 separates out the next sample x2. And finally, we get a separate sample x3. Adding all these samples, we obtain the original reconstructed input xn. This means we have resolved the input correctly. This process can be mathematically expressed by an equation as shown which is obtained by adding all the product values. Now let us generalize this equation. As we observe from the equation we just derived, each term is a product of shifted unit impulse and the sample of the input at that shift. Therefore, indicating the shift by a variable k, the product terms can be generalized as xk into delta n minus k. The addition operation is generalized by including a summation operator and the limit from minus infinity to plus infinity indicates the equation is valid only for any arbitrary is valid for any arbitrary length of input. Now consider a signal as shown below. Let me put a question. Can you resolve this signal in terms of unit impulse? Will you have a try? Let's verify your answer. Begin with the sample at 0. This sample can be resolved as 4 into delta n where, de where 4 is the value of that sample. The next sample to the right is obtained by multiplying it with a shifted unit impulse delta n minus 1. A next shift to the unit impulse signal will pick out the next sample of xn. The last sample being at the left of the zeroth sample is expressed in a form of advanced impulse delta n plus 1. Adding all these individual components we get the equation of resolved input xn. In this way we can resolve any signal in terms of unit impulse. Now step 2 is to apply this resolved input signal as an input to an LTI system.
what we have now is an LTI system with an impulse response HN to which we now apply a resolved input and that is what is the question what is the output of the system let's find out definitely the output yn of the system is obtained by doing some transformation or processing on the input this transformation is denoted as t replacing this input by its resolved form what we observe here is xk indicates the kth sample from the input stream and therefore is treated as a constant. Therefore, the transformation is applied only on to the shifted impulse function. Then, what's the processing of the system on a unit impulse? Yes, the answer to it is impulse response and a shifted impulse results into a shifted impulse response substituting this into the equation we obtain an output equation which depends on input and the system impulse response this equation is termed as convolution or convolution sum convolution operation is represented by a symbol star